again, we're going to continue talking about how to create that work environment where people say, thank God it's Monday I get to go to work. Last week, we talked about how to start every staff meeting with sharing of appreciation, firing people's happiness in their brains, and the importance of creating great connections and relationships between team members because great relationships result in happiness. Now, we're gonna talk about two more ways. Another way to create this positive atmosphere and increased productivity at work is to create meaning in the workplace. In this context, meaning refers to a purposeful existence. In the work environment where there is a shared sense of purpose, staff are more likely to feel satisfied with their job. So organizational psychologist and author Adam Grant devised an innovative experience into team productivity. As one example of creating meaning in a workspace, Grant described the work he did with a call center team. So I want you to think about 100 people in a room answering incoming phone calls and making outgoing phone calls all day long, a call center, which you might think is rather mundane work. This particular call center was employed to canvas donations for university scholarship funds. So Grant arranged for the staff to meet an actual scholarship recipient. The meeting was only five minutes long, just enough to ask some questions and put a face to a name. But what they learned is that scholarship recipient got to go to school when he wouldn't have been able to before and now has a better future. So this team went on to raise three times more money and record consistently longer and more engaged conversations with potential donors compared with a control group. So when people see how their efforts have a genuine impact on the lives of others, even mundane work can become more rewarding. How might you use this in your Fast Sign Center? Have a customer who you've really helped visit with your team for five or 10 minutes and talk about the impact. How much more rewarding could that be if that customer was a food bank who is now able to get more donations of food, or if that customer is a charity and is now able to help more families. But that short interaction can make your Fast Signs team members feel more connected about the importance of their work. Another way to create happiness in the work environment is through recognition and rewards. Either our ability to celebrate our own accomplishments or our ability as leaders to celebrate the accomplishments of our team is another important element for enjoying and remaining positive at the workplace. Rewards activate the pleasure pathways in our brain, even if those rewards are self-induced. So think about that. We can give ourselves a reward when we finish a project or after we do an hour solid work on a project, give ourselves a reward, a walk around the building, a snack, and that releases our own pleasure pathway so we can actually learn how to reward ourselves. Effective rewards do not have to be anything big or anything expensive or even doesn't have to be financial. It can be a pat on a back. It can be a trophy that's passed around the office when somebody does something really well. It could be a post-it note that someone puts above their, on their computer screen, right? It doesn't have to be anything big. It could be as simple as taking a break, going for a walk, enjoying a snack. A number of studies have found that small rewards can make people more generous, more friendly and happy as well as more productive and accurate in their work. At Google, employee satisfaction rose 37% when a small rewards plan was put in place. This suggests that financial rewards are not the only thing happy, productive employees are looking for. Refresh your focus and step away from the screen for a few minutes. Take a walk around the office or challenge somebody in the office to 10 jumping jacks. It'll actually increase your productivity, replenish your brain with oxygen if you do something active. So by offering positivity, by offering connection, by offering meaning and recognition and rewards, you can create a motivated workforce where people wanna be there and wanna improve the company little by little. 
The better your brain is at using its energy to focus on the positives, the greater your chances at success. The better your employees' brains are at using energy to focus on the positives, the greater their chances at success. So as leaders, if we learn to create positive emotions and positivity in our business, if we learn to create connections between our team members, if we learn to recognize and reward our people by implementing just some of the ideas I share today, we can help create a workplace where we and our teams wake up on Mondays excited to go to work. Let's each create that workplace where our team does wake up and says, thank God it's Monday. Thank you.